Okay, now we're going to make some cranberry chutney. This is like cranberry sauce that you put on your turkey. Uh, but this has some other things in it that make it really good. So the cranberry chutney is going to need some walnuts, cranberries, a couple apples, some raisins, water, some molasses, apple cider vinegar, or uh, some ground cinnamon, some sugar, some ground cloves, ground ginger. And that's going to do it for the ingredients. We're going to go ahead and mix those up and show you the steps. Okay, now we're going to combine our water, vinegar, and sugar in a medium saucepan. So we've got one cup of water. We've got one half cup of apple cider vinegar. And we've got three quarters of a cup of sugar. That's we're using a one half cup and a quarter cup to equal three quarters of a cup. We'll combine those three ingredients in a medium saucepan over medium heat and bring that mixture to a boil. Then we'll go to the next step. Next, we're going to chop walnuts. Okay, now we have chopped our one cup of walnuts into you know, varying sizes. All right, next we're going to core and chop two green apples or two tart apples it calls for which basically is green apples so there you go so here we have two apples chopped oops yummy okay once your mixture of water, vinegar, and sugar has come to a boil on medium heat, you're going to add all the rest of the ingredients, which is going to be 12 ounces of cranberries, two apples chopped, a cup of chopped walnuts, a half a cup of raisins, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. We didn't have an eighth of a teaspoon measurement, so we're just guesstimating on that. You're going to add all these ingredients to your boiling mixture. Oh, and then also one tablespoon of molasses that we did not put in the measuring spoon because that stuff is hecka messy. And so you're gonna add all these ingredients one at a time, slowly, to your mix of boiling, uh, your boiling mixture. Bring it back up to a boil on medium heat and let it sim then reduce the heat allowing the mixture to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes and the cranberries will start to pop okay they're not going to pop like popcorn but the skin will start to burst 
and that's going to get be a, a good sign that this stuff's about to be ready you're going to continue to stir this stuff um, I don't want to say consistently but regularly keep it stirring so that it doesn't burn once those 20 to 25 minutes have gone by and all the cranberries have started popping it's all mixed together you can turn off the heat pour it into a container let the chutney cool to room temperature and then it's ready to go if you want to keep it for later you can put it in the refrigerator just bring it back up to room temperature before serving it for best results so that's it okay so once you get all of your ingredients back into the pan or into the pan you're going to bring the mixture back to a boil on medium heat then once it starts boiling you reduce the heat uh, down to, to low or medium low so that your your mixture will simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the cranberries start to pop and lose their skin and you're going to be stirring this pretty frequently to make sure nothing gets burned or or too hot down there and that's it okay so once the chutney has had a chance to simmer for 20 25 minutes we're at, we're at about 22 minutes right here and stirring consistently it's gonna start to look like this okay and that's meaning that it's done all of the little cranberries have burst and are now in the form of this jelly stuff which is the chutney and as I was stirring I was bursting the little helping them burst you know they'll start to get a crack in them but as you're stirring it you can kind of push them and squeeze them out so that they turn into this jelly mix and just once it starts to thicken up like on the side walls like that you know you're, you're about done you don't want it to continue to cook too long or that sidewall stuff so you start to cake on there so from here we're just going to put it into a container and allow it to cool to room temperature and it's ready to use all right the chutney is done we placed it in a bowl covered it with plastic wrap and you try to allow the plastic wrap to rest on top of and actually touch the chutney and you know ours is not necessary it's sticking all the way but all the way around the edges ideally it'll be touching that that prevents it from getting any kind of crazy skin on top it's not going to ruin it or anything but it might get a skin if it sat too long so i think that's what that's all about Anyways, this chutney is ready to eat as soon as it hits room temperature. And if you want to store it for later, once it hits room temperature, you can put it in the refrigerator. And then when you're ready to use it, just bring it back up to room temperature for best um, results. That's it. Enjoy your, your chutney.